Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is Mr. Zari here at Landrum Middle School, and today we're going to take a look at the drill press. We're going to take a look at all the different parts and how to use it properly in safety. safety. But before we do that, I want you guys to remember that anytime you do something, always make sure that you use your brain and think it through. Okay? So first we're going to just take a look at the parts of the drill press. Uh, this machine is a machine that you use to drill a perfect hole into a piece of wood or even into a piece of metal or, or anything like that. So, the first thing that we're going to do is start from the bottom. Down on the bottom we have this part that is touching the ground. That's going to be called the base. The component that holds everything together is this pipe. It goes from the base all the way up to the very top. That is called a column. C-O-L-U-M-N. Kind of a weird spelled word. Attached to the column, we have this flat surface, which is the table. This is where we're going to rest the piece of wood. Then, above that, we have this handle, which raises and lowers the actual chuck. And this is called a turret handle. T-U-R-R-E-T. -R -R -E turret handle. This thing right here is called the chuck. This right here should be pretty obvious. It, obvious. it says start and stop. That's your start and stop button. And then we also have something else called a chuck key. Now, as this machine sits, it can't really do much of anything until I put a drill bit in it. So we're also going to include a drill bit. I'm just going to take one from this box over here. So this is a drill bit. So now that we know the parts, let's talk about how to use this machine properly and safely. The first thing that you want to do is you want to take care of all your personal safety items. That is, you want to make sure that you've got your shirt tucked in. Second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're wearing your safety glasses. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not wearing any watches, rings, necklaces, lanyards, jewelry that's dangling that's going to get hung up in the machine. The next thing you want to make sure that you're not doing is you're not wearing long sleeves. We always need to see from your elbows to the tips of your fingers, so no jackets, no sweaters, nothing like that. And then, of course, something that I don't have a problem with, you always have to make sure that you tie your hair back. That way your hair doesn't get hung up in the machine and it doesn't get wrapped around and makes you bald real quick, just like me. So, now that we've taken care of those things, the next step is you want to make sure that you have a plan. Before you get over here, you need to know, okay, what am I going to drill a hole into? And once I know what I'm going to drill a hole into, which is going to be this piece of wood, where am I going to drill that hole? So the way I'm marking my hole, or the location of the hole, is with an X. The next thing that I need to figure out is what size is the hole going to be? And I just randomly picked up this drill bit, but as I look at that drill bit box right over there, this is a 9 30 seconds inch diameter drill bit. So that's what I'm going to be using today. Now that I've taken care of those things, I'm going to come to the machine. When I get here, I want to first make sure that it's turned off. It doesn't sound like it's on, nothing's moving, so I know it's off. The next thing I want to do is clear off the table. That's as easy as just blowing off any of the sawdust that might be there. Next step is I'm going to take the tail end of the drill bit. That's the end that doesn't have the spiral. It doesn't look like it's going to cut anything. And I'm going to insert it into the chuck. Okay, And right now, it appears that I'm having difficulty getting it into the chuck. If that's the case, I can turn it this way to loosen it up, and once I have it nice and loose, then I'm going to center that drill bit into the center of that chuck, and I'm going to turn it until it holds onto it by itself. Now, it seems like it might be secure in place, but it's not. That's where the chuck key comes in. I'm going to take the chuck key, and we have this little pin right here with these beveled teeth. I've got to insert the pin into the chuck and the teeth will line up with the teeth that are inside the chuck. And I'm going to turn this clockwise as tight as I can. Now, if you're having difficulty with this, ask somebody who might be a little bit stronger than you to take care of it for you. Once I've turned it and it no longer moves, I have to make sure I take the chuck key out. I can never run the machine with the chuck key in it. I will destroy the chuck and I will destroy the chuck key. This one's really simple. I just drop it. It's held on by a chain. Now that I've got the drill bit in place, the next thing that I want to check before I even start thinking about where to put the piece of wood, I want to make sure that this drill bit will go through the table because my hole is going to go through the piece of wood. So I'm going to pull the turret handle down and I can see that it goes straight through the center of the hole that's in the table. So I'm good right there. 
if it wasn't, there is a clamp back here that I can loosen up. And if I loosen that up, I can swing the table left and right. I can also raise the table up or lower it down. But it's good right where it's at. Now that I've taken care of this, I'm going to take my piece of wood and I'm going to try to eye it and place the tip of the drill bit over top of the X. And I'm going to pull the turret handle down and I'm going to adjust the piece of wood until I see that it's right where it needs to be. Once I see that the center of that drill bit is right there in the center of that X, I'm going to take my other hand, notice I still have pressure on that drill bit, so it's touching the wood, wood can't move. I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to clamp down the piece of wood. Once I've done that, I can let that go and this piece of wood is not going to move. I never want to hold the piece of wood by hand, then that's going to be, if I hold it by hand, this piece of wood is going to start spinning as soon as the drill comes in contact with the wood, and then it's going to be dangerous. Now that I've taken care of all of that, I'm ready to actually drill my hole. The problem is, is if I was to actually use this machine, I would be blocking the entire view of the machine because I need to stand directly in front of it the entire time. Since I'm trying to demonstrate this for you, I'm going to do this from the side. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead, press start. You can see that the drill bit is spinning. I'm then going to take the turret handle, pull it forward towards me, and I'm going to bring it down to the wood, and I'm going to slowly and carefully drill my hole. This is not a race. So, I'm going to go about halfway into the piece of wood. Once I'm about halfway, I'm just going to kind of bring it back just a little bit to clear out the sawdust. And then I'm going to go for another turn and go all the way through. I can tell that I've drilled all the way through because I see sawdust underneath the table. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and let go of the turret handle and I'm going to press stop. My job is almost completed. So, now that the machine has come to a stop, I can go ahead and unclamp the piece of wood. And since I have the sawdust already on my piece of wood, all I have to do is carefully take it over to the dust collector and throw it on the floor in front of the dust collector, and it'll be picked up whenever we turn it on. There's my hole. So, the next thing I want to do is clear off the table. Just simply blow off the sawdust. And then we're going to do everything in reverse. I'm going to take the chuck key. I'm going to turn it counterclockwise to loosen or unlock the drill bit from the chuck. And once I've done that, the drill bit comes out. I'm going to pull the chuck key out, just drop it, and this needs to go right back where you got it from, which in my case, I got it from this drill bit box right here. Once I have everything back in place, the last thing that I do before I take my piece of wood and go back to my table and figure out what my next step is, is I need to sweep up any sawdust that I've left behind. Pretty simple, it's not very complicated. I'm sure you guys have used hand drills at home before. Just remember that anytime you're using a machine or doing anything, always make sure that you use your brain. Think it through and always try to do the right thing. Take it easy, guys.